So in this section, first we are going to install uh, the desktop application for Flipper Zero and then we are going to install the mobile application for Flipper Zero and after that we will see the different uh, variants of firmware available in the market. So let's just start. So first we have to go on the official site of Flipper Zero that is uh, Flipper Zero uh, dot one. So this is the official site and over here you have to go in download section and uh, here you can see mobile uh, flipper mobile app and uh, flipper desktop application so let's just download the windows version you can also download the mac os and linux version as well if you are using mac os or linux uh, we are using windows so let me just download the windows version and i'll keep it on desktop So it will take few seconds to download and then we are going to install this application all right so it's downloaded let's just install and i'll keep it all the default options for now uh, make sure you check all these things and let's just install so once the application is installed you will see the icon uh, on your desktop so over here you can see the icon so let's just double click on it and over here it's asking us to connect our flipper zero device so let's just connect our flipper zero device So let's just connect. And over here you can see all the options. So this is the default firmware. Over here you can see uh, sub gigahertz frequency. RFID, NFC, infrared. So as we discussed in our previous uh, uh, section, uh, these are all the technologies targeted by Flipper Zero. Over here you can see GPIO pins. These are the GPIO pins. And there is I button, bad USB and U2F. And then there is settings. So over here you can see uh, on the on the mobile application whatever function i'm performing or whatever menu i'm choosing you can see that in the in the desktop application as well so let's just uh, use our desktop application for now and we can use our application as well as you can see so right now we are using the default firmware and let me just show you the version of the default firmware so it's uh, 0.94.1 and the build date is 1st november uh, 2023 when you will use this application the firmware might be changed right because they update firmware very frequently so in, in our next section we are going to also see the different uh, firmwares av available in the market other than the official firmware uh, so over here you can see uh, this uh, desktop application now let me show you the mobile application as well so to download your mobile application you have to go on your uh, play store and type uh, flipper zero and you will see this application so let's just install this application It's a very small application it won't take that much time and it's installing and let's just open the application and we have to connect our flipper zero device with this application as well so let me show you so you have to go in settings and you have to turn on your bluetooth 
now it's on now let's just try to connect let's just connect uh -huh. let's just clear and over here you can see the code this is the code which you have to enter in your device so it's zero nine four six one three and let's just there and our device is connected with our uh, mobile application as well right over here you can see full info option and over here you can see the device name it's updating right now so let's just wait over here it's synchronizing the uh, the device so it might take some time all right so it's synchronized now and it's connected fully so over here you can see all the things all the details right and there is update as well so we can update as well right now right now i'm not going to update anything i'm just going to show you all these things so over here you can see in archive you can see all these things we can control our device uh, with this uh, with this application as well so those uh, things which you see in green for for these things you have to update your uh, uh, your flipper zero right now i'm not updating let me just show you the other things which are available which are in blue so we can emulate as well as you can see on the screen it's emulating let me just stop and for these things like doorbell send we have to update our firmware as you can see right uh, all the other things we, we can perform without updating uh, let me just try one more time and we can control our flipper zero uh, with our application as well as you can see right see it's right now the application is slow uh, but still you can control your flipper zero with this application as well right so in the future they might update uh, this application so this is these are the two applications you can uh, use to control your flipper zero device as well in our next video we are going to see the different uh, variants of firmware available in the market and uh, which firmware is uh, good and which firmware we are going to use throughout our course we will see this these things in our next video thank you